In this video, I'll be showing you how to add and use Arcane Bot in your Discord server. We have included video chapters so you can skip to the parts of the video that you need for your server. Start by heading to the Arcane Bot website. We will include a link in the description. Click the Add to Discord button. Expand the drop menu and choose the server you want the bot to be added to. Press Continue. Adjust the permissions if you want. You may like to remove the administrator, kick and ban permissions. If you plan on using Arcane Bot for moderation, then you will want to leave the kick and ban permissions enabled. Scroll down and authorize. Verify that you're human. Head back to the Arcane website. Click the login button. Authorize. Wait and Arcane will load your servers. Select the server you want to set up Arcane Bot in. You will now be on the Arcane Bot dashboard. Switch to your Discord server. Click on the server title and open the server settings. Switch to roles. Click and drag the Arcane Bot so it is near the top of the roles, typically just above or below the moderator role. Save changes and head back to the Arcane dashboard. On the dashboard, you will notice a list of features that Arcane has to offer. By default, all of the features should be enabled. If a feature isn't enabled, then simply click the Enable button, then click Yes. For this tutorial, we will be teaching you how to set up level roles, moderation, auto roles, automatic YouTube notifications, and welcome messages. First, we will be setting up the level role system. To start, we will need to create the level roles. If you already have some, then skip to the timestamp on screen. Switch to Discord. Click on your server title. Open the server settings. Switch to the roles page. Create a role. Name the role. I'll be using the levels for mine. Give it a color. You can use a preset color or click the eyedropper to choose a custom color. Scroll down and ensure that both the options are disabled. Switch to Permissions. Clear all permissions. Move the role so it is above your standard member role. Save changes, then go back. Repeat this process until you have all of your level roles added. Switch back to Arcane. Click the Configure button under the leveling heading. The XP options are a premium feature so we will need to leave these settings. Locate the Level Up Message panel and expand the drop menu. Select the text channel for the Level Up message to be sent in. If you leave the Choose One option selected, then the message will be sent in whichever channel the member is using. We recommend setting up a specific channel for Arcane Bot. If you don't want a Level Up message to be sent, then leave the Choose One option selected and delete the message. Select the message box and write out a custom message for your server. The curly bracket text are variables that source information from your server. User mention will mention the server member, and user level will show the level. We recommend keeping both of these variables in the message somewhere. Next, we have the level card which will be displayed when a member checks their rank in your server. Click Edit Default Card. Here you can change the color of the progress bar, background color and font color. The other options are premium. To change the color, you will need to know the hex code. You can find this on Google or by using an application like Photoshop. We will also have some hex codes on the screen. Enter in the code you want to use for each. Press Save. Click the No XP Roles box and select any role you don't want to receive XP. Usually, these will be the admin and moderator roles. Do the same for no XP channels, these being the channels that users don't earn XP in. The role rewards are the levels or ranks that are given to the members. Click the role menu and select the role you want to add. Set the level to the level you want the role to be awarded at. I have chosen the level 5 role, so I'll be setting the level to 5. Click the Add Reward button. The role will now be added to the ranks list on the left. You can remove a role by clicking on it. Repeat this process, adding all of your roles and levels accordingly. Next are XP Boosters. These are people that gain extra XP. Expand the role or channel menu. Select the channel or role that you want to give more XP. Keep in mind you can only add one. 
I'll be adding the member role to help active users level up quicker in my server. Set the percentage boost. The maximum is 80. Click Add Booster when you're happy. Next, we have an Effort Booster. This will give more XP for members that put more effort into their messages. If you don't want an Effort Booster system in your server, then click the Disable button. The boost can be based off words or attachments. Set the word count. Usually anywhere from 5 to 30 words will work well. We recommend setting the attachment count to zero so no boost is given for attachment messages. Set the boost percent. The maximum is 30. The leaderboard will show all of the members in your server with their levels and ranking. Select the vanity box and enter in the name of your server. Click Save and Arcane will create a leaderboard URL specifically for your server. Some names may already be taken. Click View Leaderboard to see your server leaderboard and URL. You can also use this page to reset levels in your server. Lastly, we have the Max Level option. This is the maximum level a member in your server can reach. Setting the level to zero will remove the level cap. All of your settings will automatically be saved. There are several commands that UN members can use in your server. Each command starts with a slash. We will have a list of all level commands on screen. Anyone with the Manage Server permission can use the Set Level command to give a member a level. To use this command, you will need to type slash set level, followed by the member's name and then the level. You can also disable commands you don't want to be used. We will show that in the last chapter of the video. Scroll to the top and click Go Back. Click the Configure button under the Moderation heading. First, we need to set up the logs. Logs will post moderation actions in a text channel. Click the drop menu and choose a channel. Usually, the channel will only be viewable by moderators. Set the ban and mute duration. This is how many minutes the punishment will last when the command is used. Set the ban purge. When a member is banned, their messages will automatically be deleted for the set number of days. Move to the auto moderation setting. If you want a more versatile auto mod for your server, then we recommend using Dinobot. Our tutorials on the Dino setup will be linked in the description below. Set the auto moderation log. We recommend having a channel specifically for the auto mod actions. Switch to the whitelist panel and click manage. At the top, you have the actions that auto mod will punish members for. And at the bottom, you have whitelisted channels and roles. Click on the box and add the roles and channels you don't want Arcane's auto mod to interfere with. These are typically only moderator, admin, and friend roles or channels. Go through each type, adding the whitelisted channels and roles. Save. Enable the anti-profanity filter. Expand the drop menu and choose either delete or delete and warn. Enable the blacklisted words option. Click the box and type out any words you don't want to be said in the server. Be sure to separate each word with a comma. The profanity filter will get most of the common bad words, however you can add alternate spellings here. Expand the drop menu and choose the punishment. If you don't want members posting server invites in your server, then enable the anti-invite tool. Use the drop menu to set a punishment. Enable the anti-spam tool. This will prevent consecutive messages in quick succession. The default settings are fine, however, I tend to use 5 messages in 10 seconds with a delete punishment. Enable the anti-emoji tool. Set the maximum amount of emojis you want a member to be able to use in one message. Again, set the punishment. Usually, delete is fine. Finally, enable anti-capitals if you don't want to see all capital messages. If a message is made up of 65% or more capital letters, then the message will be removed. I would only enable this tool if you're having issues with capital spam. Set the punishment to delete messages. Feel free to use your own auto-moderation settings or copy ours. Scroll and click Go Back. The next feature we will be setting up is Auto Roles. With Auto Roles enabled, Arcane will automatically give new users a role. Find the Role Management feature and click the Configure button. Expand the drop menu and choose the role you want to be given. This will usually be a member role. Click Go Back and your auto roles will be set up. 
YouTube notifications will automatically post new YouTube videos in your server from specific YouTube channels. Click Configure in the YouTube Notifications panel. Choose to make a new notification. Select the box and paste in your YouTube channel ID. The ID is everything after the channel slash in the URL. We will have an example on screen. Click Next and the channel will be added. This may take a while. Select the message box and enter in the message you want to be sent in your server. Be sure to include the curly bracket video URL text. This variable will post the link of the newly uploaded video. You can also include the tag at everyone to mention everyone in the server. Expand the drop menu and choose the channel you want the YouTube updates to be posted in. Click Create. Your Discord server will now get automatic notifications when you post a new video. If at any point you want to edit the message or remove the notifications, then you can using the buttons here. Click Go Back. Next, we will be setting up welcome messages. Click the Configuration button under the Welcomer panel. Here, you can create messages to be sent for joining members and leaving members. These are essentially the same. Expand the Choose One menu. Select the channel you want the welcome message to be in. This is usually a welcome channel. Move to the message box and edit the welcome message. Make the message whatever you want. We recommend including the member mention variable to tag the user in the welcome message. You can also add a welcome image that will be sent with the message by clicking Add Image. The image can be customized using color hex codes and text or variables. I don't like the welcome image, so I'll be leaving this disabled. Go back and your welcome message will now be set up in your Discord server. Finally, we will be covering the arcane commands. Commands can be used by you, moderators or other server members to interact with the bot. You may want to disable some commands from being used in your server, so we recommend learning the commands and adjusting them as you see fit. Click Manage under the Command Restrictions heading. We also recommend opening the Commands page at the top of the website in a new tab. This way you can see what each command does. Some commands have a permission requirement, meaning in order for someone to be able to use the command, they must have specific server permission enabled. This is typically for moderator commands. By default, you will be on the general commands. These are basic commands and mainly to do with the server and not any specific feature. At the top, you will see the bulk editing section. This allows you to enable or disable all the commands on this page. Below is a drop menu. Here you can select channels in your server that you don't want any of the commands to be usable in. You can also go through each command and disable them one by one. If you want a specific command to only be disabled in specific channels, then click the Manage button. Select the menu and choose the channels you don't want the commands to be usable in. Click Save to confirm your settings. Go through all of the commands and set your settings as you would like. Usually, I will disable all of the general settings, then enable the help command. You might also like to enable the vote command to help support Arcane Bot. Switch to the leveling commands page at the top. Adjust these settings as you like. Remember to check the commands list page to see what each command does. Repeat this process for each of the command categories. Feel free to pause the video and copy our settings for each command category. Go back and Arcane Bot will now be set up in your Discord server and working.